This is a video on how to configure your T-Mobile tower, your wireless modem, uh, to have two bands set up so when you go to search you will find two bands, 2.4 and 5 instead of 1. These new T-Mobile uh, towers are 5G towers. They are dual bands so your uh, whatever device you hook up should be able to go through uh, either one automatically, but I found that some printers, I have an old brother printer, will not configure using the dual band system. I had to split it up to show two different bands. So the first thing you do is you need to have your c a computer, a laptop or a desktop configured to a connect to the modem. So if it's working on the modem and you have internet connection, then you can a dial in, you can put this web address in 192.168.12.1. It will bring up a page that shows you uh, your networks. And I, I haven't been able to find a way to do this from the account. This is the only way that I found to do it. And the combined automatic, that is the one that you automatically have uh, on. And, but if you want to separate, you need to click this button and, uh, and then save. Uh, keep in mind that the password there is not the password for Wi-Fi. It's the password for administrator. And I can't get this from the account setting when you set up an account with T-Mobile. It has to come through a browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, your network name should, should appear automatically. And then you input your password. So what you've done then is set up two networks, a 2.4 gig and a 5 gig. So when you search with a certain devices, you may only be able to see the 2.4 gig because your device is too old to use 5 gig. And uh, let me show you here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, there's my internet connections. Now you can see, uh, I'll try to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But right here I have a 5 gigahertz and the same name 2.4 gigahertz. So I've succeeded and when I have older items sometimes only the 2.4 gig will show up in that item and, and that's all you and that's the only one you can connect to. Now if you've already set up all of your devices and connected with a password and you switch this and you split it up into these two connections you'll have to re-input the password into all of them uh, separately because they, they'll no longer take. So you got to redo all your devices when you do this. Uh, but separating into two networks, a 2.4 and a 5, will um, will often solve that problem with connecting printers. My old brother was, I think, a 7860 uh, brother. A really great printer, but it was really old and beyond its this years. But splitting it up into a 2.4 gigahertz network allowed me to uh, to make it work again. Uh, please like and subscribe.